Welcome to Huntsville, Texas, and Elliott T. Bowers Stadium home to the Bearcats of Sam Houston State, who have built a rich winning legacy and one that they hope follows them to the upper reaches of college football. And this is the kind of game college football fans love because they don't have to wait for the weekend for this Conference USA showdown. As we'll see, the winners of five straight, the Western Kentucky Hilltoppers, taking on the winners of four straight, the Sam Houston Bearcats. For EA Sports College Football, I'm Reese Davis, joined here in the booth. The Bearcats will kick it away to start. He'll start the return inside his five. Not a lot of space to be found. Good hustle by the coverage team, and they stop him at the 21. So the Western Kentucky Hilltoppers offense will start this game off. Here he comes, and obviously defense is always going to be aware of a quarterback, but boy, he finds a way to put defenses on their heels all the time, David. I mean, what can't he do? He's got the weapons, he's got the confidence, he's got the experience. Jesse, these kind of guys are so hard to defend. You're right. They better be able to find a way to get pressure on him, because if they don't, this is going to be a long day. Already find a hole in that secondary. And he almost ran away from everybody on that one. A huge pickup on that play. I'm a big believer in taking shots early in the game and being aggressive and showing my team I got confidence in them. Let's go make plays. First drive, already taking shots down the field. Nice job, nice pitch, nice catch. Great job by the defense there, slowing down that jet sweep. And a big key was the defensive end containing the play, forcing the receiver to cut back inside to where all the traffic was. Safe completion on the screen. They make the stop, trying to pick up just a little bit at a time to get to that first down mark. On third and short, they'll try to pick it up with the pass. Caught close to the marker, it's Smith. And this junior loves to show off that big arm. Receiver looks it in. It's complete. Bring in the heat. He will step out of bounds, but not before the big pickup and a first down for this offense. And as a defense, how scary is it having to defend this guy? He's one of the fastest players in America, and you saw it on that last play. It's not necessarily throwing him the ball over your head. They just get it to him quickly. The hard part now is running and tackling that guy. Not easy to do. Can't find his man as he took a shot trying to deliver that football, and it'll be second down. Quarterback on the keeper. They'll give him four on that one. It's third and six. Boy, they'd love to pick up this conversion and go to work with a first and goal. They try to pop a run on the draw. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. And they'll send out the field goal unit. And the kicker delivers the three to salvage that drive. And with that, they break the seal on the scoring. It's 3 nothing. And he knocks another one through. And how about this kicker? Good way to start off your season, right? Like, what do you have at the spot? Sometimes you don't know. Can he make those kicks? Starting off, hasn't missed one yet. Been very dependable for the squad. So after the last drive ended with a field goal, the kickoff team out there to send it away. And he takes this from inside the five. He was looking for more running room, but none to be found as he stopped at the 23. The Bearcats offense will go to work for the first time. Here are our impact players for this game, and it goes beyond executing an assignment to make an impact in the game. Yeah, obviously we were talking to both coaching staffs this week, and we asked them who needs to step up and play while well, they immediately pointed to these guys right here. They are the key for their respective teams. Yeah, and they don't always show up in the box score, but these are the guys of the leaders. These are the guys getting everybody organized and have to play well for their team to succeed. Didn't pick up a lot there, moved it forward just a few. Ball sitting right at the 30. It'll be third and short. Looking to throw, it's Bauer. Pulls it in. He's loose down the middle. The 20. The 10. Touchdown, Bear 
Caps. And once he found some daylight, it was time to make a house call. An unbelievable timing with the quarterback and wide receiver. Get it to him in his hands, right on his frame, where he can run after the catch and do some serious damage. And that's why he's so dangerous, because of that ability after the catch. For these DBs in this game, you've got to tackle the reception, because if you don't get him down, he's taking it to the house. Getting set for the point after. And the extra point is good, and it's a four-point lead. Quick strike offense on that three-play scoring drive. And the points come in a lightning strike, a 70-yard touchdown pass. On the run from inside his own five. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. He's going to pass. Fires to the wideout. And he got a hand in there. Knocks it away incomplete. Didn't connect last time. Let's see if they throw it again on second down. Wants to go up top. He's got his man. He's brought down quickly. Minimal gain there. Still a bit short of the first down. On third and long. Try to convert through the air. Pocket starts to collapse. He'll pull it down. And he was fortunate not to lose yardage on that play, able to wedge it back to the line of scrimmage. Fourth down, and the punt team sends it the other way. No fair catches here, looking for room. The solid return there offsets some of the punt yardage and really sets up this offense nicely. Here's the handoff. Able to scrounge three yards out of that one somehow. It's second and seven. When was the running game on first down? Now back at it. Using his legs, it's Gentry. A solid pickup there before the defense is able to make the stop. Will they keep it on the ground again here on third down? They'll try to run for it. He'll be stopped short. Picks up one, but they're facing fourth and one. And the Bearcats will call on their punt team. First punt of the day, and he'd love to lock them up close to their goal line. And that is just about a perfect punt as he pins them deep inside the 10-yard line. They'll move the running back to try to force the defense to adjust. He's going to let one fly down the middle. And that one's incomplete. Worth taking a shot there, but couldn't hook up. This offense has a second down play. Pressure coming. Makes the grab. It's Johnson. Really nice job there by both guys to throw and the catch to work that defense and get the first down. Makes the grab down the middle. And they pick up just a few on that completion. Kept it on the ground last time, bringing up a second down. They'll run it out of the shotgun. And the defense finally makes the stop after the sweet run and good gain. The Hilltoppers are moving quickly down the field. Motion from the offense. Trying to use the speed on the jet sweep. It's so hard because when they run jet sweeps, they don't always give them the football, and then you got to worry about other stuff. But great job focusing on your keys, seeing the jet sweep, pulling the trigger, going and getting the speedster on the ground. It's caught. A quick tackle made, but he's got plenty for the first down. And the Hilltoppers come to the line with a fresh set of downs. And I think they'll give him two on that one, second and eight coming up. As they get set to snap at time, winding down here in the quarter. Pulls and throws off the RPO. And they'll make the stop, and we are headed to the end of the first period. We have the early makings of a quarterback duel, as these stats will show you.
heading in the opposite directions now as we crank it up in the second. They line up with some serious work to do if they want to convert this one. They go to the draw. And maybe he'll get back to the line of scrimmage, but no more than that. The Hilltoppers line up to punt it away. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. And that is how a punter helps out his defense, pinning them deep in their own territory. The Bearcat offense ready to go back to work. Here's another opportunity, Jesse, to stretch out this lead after punting last time. I think it goes back to your playmakers, Reese. I think it's finding the guys that have been working for you earlier on in this game and getting them the football. And there's obviously no need to panic. I mean, think about it. You got the lead. You got the football. You got to be smart with the football. Make your plays. Put a good drive together. So third and short from inside the 20. You convert here, and this drive takes on a different complexion. Looking downfield, it's Bauer. Zinja complete to the right. Good tackle there to stop him short of the first down, and now they have to make a call. And the Bearcats will punt it away on fourth down. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. Makes a move. He'll get it up to about the 44-yard line before they slam the brakes on him. Let's see what this offense has dialed up this time. Hand off from the shotgun. And a good, solid pick up there before the defense knocks him down. They can really be aggressive after that last play at second and three. The give to the tailback. Really nice stop there from this senior leader. Now on third down for this offense. And the incomplete pass on third down, but there is a flag on the no, field. No, no, we'll no, see no, what no, that's no, about. No, no, no. The officials offer the deal, and the coach accepts it. They will take the penalty. Gives it to the back on the draw. That'll be enough for the first down as they stop him at the 43-yard line. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. From the gun, the running back has it. You'll take four yards on first down every time, second and six. He's looking to throw. Quick completion on the out route. Oh, ball's out! And they put it on the deck, but it gets out of bounds to avoid the turnover. And you know the standard is indisputable video evidence, and the officials will change the call. Well, we knew coming into this game, this offense was going to try and get this receiver involved and get him involved early. So here they are just finding an easy completion. It's not a touchdown, but they just want to get this guy lathered up and get him in the world. Nowhere close on that one as he got drilled trying to deliver the football, and now they face third down. To the air, it's Fenley. Feeling some heat. And the defense picks up a sack, getting the quarterback down at the 44. I don't bring more speed on the field if I don't think it's a pass, right? If I think they're going to line up and hit me in the mouth, I'm going to bring more big guys. They brought more speed on the field. They went nickel. They knew it was a passing situation. They told those pass rushers to hunt, those DBs to cover. The defense was ready for that. And the Hilltoppers will line up to punt it away. Able to keep them from getting a return, and the ball goes out of bounds. They're going to mark it right around the 20. The Bearcat offense ready to go back to work. Wants to throw on first down off the play fake. Makes the grab down the left side. And they pick up a better than 30 yards on that completion before the defense brings him down. Hey, the defense knew coming into this one this guy was going to be a factor, but they have done nothing to stop him. They don't have any answers. This guy already has over 100 yards receiving, and we're not even done the half. The Bearcats want to move quickly. Out 
out of the gun to give to the back. And that's a very productive first down play and bringing up second and three. He's looking to throw. Going to try to pop one on the screen. They finally get him stopped, but what a good job by that front wall to set up the screen and create some range for their running back. From the gun, they'll give it on the inside. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Going to work in the red zone, they can't pick up the first down without getting it into the end zone. They'll put the tight end in motion. From the gun, running back on the move. Works his way down to the 10-yard line after a pickup of three. Really need to pick up this conversion and avoid having to settle for the field goal. Third and long, and he'll try to throw for it. And he's sprinting. He'll take it all the way. Touchdown, Sam Houston. What an example of this quarterback just putting his offense on his back. Drop back, wanted to throw the ball downfield. Nobody open, no problem. Extend the play, buy himself some time, and then take off with his legs to score that touchdown. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. And the extra point is good, and they have an 11 point lead. We check in with Kevin Connors. What's going on, Kevin? All right, guys, want to update you on a game that went final moments ago. Troy went on the road and silenced one of the most vocal crowds in football. And it's clear this Trojans team has adopted the mantra, let your play do the talking. It's one game. You don't want to react too much either way. But I think both teams will leave this one with some things to work on. Continues to fight for yards. He's run out of bounds, but not before. Turning in a big pickup and moving the sticks for a first down. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. He wants to throw. Working that left side now. He's run out of bounds, but a big play on that one, and it'll be a first down. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. They're testing the right side here. Nowhere to run on that one. He loses four on the carry. Couldn't get him blocked on that last one. Now it's second and 14. Back to throw. It's Finley. Trying to get to him. Fires left. Makes a connection. Defense is there to make the stop, but he's got the first down, and they'll have it first and goal with the six. Now the chance to pay off that big play from just outside the five. We've reached the two-minute warning, and this thing has been one-sided, and they hope to at least have something to feel good about going into halftime. They're trying to get to it. And the quarterback caught up to and sacked at the 12. I think defenses sometimes get frustrated, and you want to get blitz happy and because you give up yards. In this day and age, you're going to give up yards. Who cares? This is the area we've got to bow up. Nice job on first down stopping him. A couple more downs here to stay aggressive. He's got it and still on his feet. They'll get it down to the eight-yard line on that throw and catch, and the defense is backed up against the wall. Third and goal, and they'll try to pass it in. They're bringing heat. And they get to the quarterback and knock him down back at the 16. Quick timeout by the defense there, trying to make sure everyone has the same call. And for the second time tonight, they'll trot out the field goal kicker. He splits the uprights and puts three on the board. And this guy has been a machine all season long. He is absolutely automatic. You know you're getting three points when this guy jogs on the field. So they get the field goal, now about to kick it away, and you get a stop here, and you go to halftime feeling really good about things. Here he comes from inside his own five. 
He was looking for more running room, but none to be found as he stopped at the 23. The Bearcat offense ready to go back to work. They've got time, they've got the lead, and David is sort of like a doctor. First, do no harm. Do no harm, but also, momentum is hard to create and sometimes hard to stop. You have it, so Jesse, don't do anything stupid to create some momentum for the other side. I think a lot of this comes down to your quarterback and whether or not he's making good decisions in this game. If yes, be aggressive. If not, let's just take the lead into halftime and get ready for the second half. They'll immediately call timeout. They've got it at the 36. It's a first and 10. Looking to move it through the air. Using his legs to buy some time. He's going to take off. He turns this into a nice game and gets down to avoid the hit. And the Bearcats will line it up on first and 10. The offense calls timeout, and they won't have any more left this half. They say success rate can be picking up about four or so on first down, first and ten. Coming after it. And the defense is all over the quarterback, and down he goes. Five yards on the play. Brings up second down. Clock winding towards zero. They'll get one more snap off. From the gun to give, looking for room. He'll be brought down, and that's the final play of the half. That's the end of the second quarter. That means it's time to join Kevin in our halftime update. Guys, time for everyone to take a deep breath and digest what we just saw in Huntsville. And we have to start this halftime breakdown by addressing the play of this elite wide receiver. This is clearly a young man who, once he's finished playing on Saturdays, he's gonna be playing on Sundays. The kid has different gears. He has a knack for finding gaps in the defense. And I can't remember a college player with that kind of catch radius. And with that, let's send it back to our team at Elliott T. Bowers Stadium. The Hilltoppers will kick it off to start the second half. He'll bring it back from inside his five. Not a lot of space to be found. Good hustle by the coverage team, and they stop him at the 21. The Bearcat offense ready to go back to work. They got plenty done through the air in the first half, and we'll see if they even need to look for balance as we start the third quarter. Well, and I, and I think defensively, you understand, like, the running game isn't a big part of the plan. I wonder how they adjust and play more coverage to this pass-happy offense. Yeah, so you're going to have to be ready if you're a quarterback then. You're probably going to see some different coverages. You might see a little bit more blitz in the second half as well, so you have to know where your answers are. They come to the line, facing third and long from the 25. Dropping back, it's Bauer. And it's incomplete despite some serious arm strength shown there. The Bearcats decide to punt it away. Might have thought he'd want to try to pick up a few yards there, but he's content with making the fair catch right around the 35-yard line. Running back searching for a hole. We'll give him a couple on that one. Second and eight coming up. Went to the running game on first down. Now here they come again. Give to the running back. You want to make sure to maximize those types of runs, and he gets it out to the 41. They've got it at the 41, third and short, trying to keep the chains moving. Looking to throw for it. And they got him. They'll get him down for the sack. They got to him in a heartbeat. Man, was he back there quickly. And you can see the linebackers up near the line of scrimmage. Which one's coming? He comes flying through with great speed. The offense had no clue how to get him blocked, and he gets the big set. And Number the Hilltoppers 18. will bring the punt team onto the field. Let's see if he can help the coverage team out with this one. Catches it cleanly at the 20. He'll put that return to a stop at the 33, but the offense set up in pretty good field position. Line gets set, first down. Looking for room, it's Gentry. 
Stuffed, almost in his tracks, but strong enough to pick up one to the 35. Didn't get much on first down, it's second and nine. Off play action. Got it in the middle, it's Garza. They'll get him down, but not before he crosses the 50. He's down to the 49. Wonder if they'll be conservative on first and 10. He's looking to throw it. Dumps it to the back. Finds his man. It's Gentry. They are finding soft spots in this defense. He's got it down to the 25. The Bearcats want to pick up the tempo. Nice job by the running back catching the football and understanding where the first down marker was. I got to go get that first down. Did a nice job of it. He's got it. And another big game for this offense. They are putting explosive pass after explosive pass up in this one. Trying to pound it in. Into the end zone he goes. Touchdown, Bearcats. They are seizing control and taking away hope as they push out the lead in this Week 8 showdown. Precision blocking up front. Created the open lane and the running back followed it beautifully. Yeah, I mean, it's pretty easy to follow an offensive line that makes those holes and just gives you a caravan all the way to the end zone. What an unbelievable job blocking up front. They'll try to add another to their lead. The kick is up and good and put one more on the lead. Almost ready to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. The returner will field it and try to set up his offense in great field position. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. Wants to throw. It's Fenley. Getting some heat. And the quarterback goes down all the way back at his four-yard line. And you could easily argue the biggest reason this team is trailing here in the second half is because they have not been able to protect their quarterback tonight. They've already given up five sacks in the game, and you just saw another one right there. This offensive line has had problems all night long. That sack gets this offense behind the chains. It's second down. Keeping it on the ground with the running back. A strong tackle and wrap up from the junior. Third down, and this offense is already in a world of trouble. They could really use a conversion, not to mention multiple scores. He's going to go down, and he's in his own end zone. It's going to be a safety. Oh, and how about this defense? Understanding where they are in the field, they got a chance to put points on the board, and they do. After giving up that safety, they'll have to boot it away and give it right back to them. He'll take it on the return. The Bearcat offense ready to go back to work. How about that last drive? Just carved him up in the air, David. Yeah, and how about that quarterback? You gave him the ball, and he delivered the goods. Great job taking apart the defense, Jesse, on that last drive. He really did, David. I mean, that was a master class in just reading coverage and being accurate. He'll pull it on the read. They get him on the ground after he gets enough to move the sticks. This offense will snap it from the 42 on first and 10. First down for the offense. Looking for space. It's Gentry. A seven-yard pickup. It'll be second and three. Kept it on the ground on first down. Now back to the line. Pulls it and fires to the left. Wrestled to the ground after picking up the first down. The Bearcats are on the move. Wide receiver shows motion. He'll come out throwing on first down. Grabbed in the backfield. It's Evans. And he is going to be forced out of bounds behind the line of scrimmage. Tremendous defense there. One man in the backfield, and he gets it. Not much room to run. Let's give him one to the 33. A third and long coming up here. Looking downfield, it's Bauer. 
Looking to scramble. Finds a crease at the 20. Picks up the first down and gets down to avoid contact. These third downs, man, they're critical down in distances. When you have mobile quarterbacks, it's just so great to know that, one, they can get it throwing it for your offense, but two, if it's not there, they can take off and scramble and generate big plays as well. This guy now, because of his athleticism, he's got the offense knocking on the door inside the opponent's 10-yard. Defense rolls up deep in its own end on that last play. Now a second and long coming. Quarterback keeps it. He'll be brought down at the five-yard line, and this defense is on its heels. Man, the last thing you want after controlling the ball, moving it down the field, is to have to settle for a field goal attempt. It's third and goal. He was thinking touchdown on the scramble, but they're able to stop him short of the end zone. Now on fourth down, here comes the field goal team. And this one splits the uprights. And they'll push that lead out a little further. They're really starting to extend that lead as they get ready to kick it away again. He'll bring it out. It's Jefferson. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. Here comes the Western Kentucky offense back onto the field. And the last time they had the ball, they wound up giving up a safety, Jesse. Yeah, that was ungood the last time they had the ball. So they got to do something here offensively to get into a rhythm, running and throwing the football. Try to find that consistency, David and try to find something positive with this offense. Forget about the safety. Those don't happen very often. Try to get some first downs together. Get some good mojo going. That's the end of the period, and Sam Houston has the lead. And as we switch ends of the field, let's take a quick look at the national rankings. Back at it to open the quarter with this first down play. To the air, it's Fenley. Got his man quickly. A most efficient pickup of six on first down. It's second and four. He's looking to throw. From the comfort of the pocket, he fires it to the right. He got his hands on it, but couldn't hold on to it. And what a time that would have been for their first pick of the game. Trying play action. Looking deep down the right side. And that'll be incomplete. They certainly weren't afraid to take a shot there. And now it's fourth down. He'll try to throw and pick up the first down. Pocket starts to collapse. And he'll slide after picking up the first down. The Hilltoppers come to the line with a new set of downs. Wants to throw on first down. Unloads to the wideout. Right on the money to the outside. He dragged the toe. And how about the ball placement? Only the receiver could get it. Touch pass on the jet sweep. And the defense holds firm. No pickup at all on that play. Going to work on second down in the red zone is still some ground to cover to pick up that first down. Looking for a crease. It's Young. Mark it off as a six-yard gain down to the six-yard line. Boy, they love to move the sticks here and take a shot at it on first and goal. In the gun, looking to throw on third down. And he was drilled just as he released the pass. It's incomplete. Might as well go big or go home. They need a touchdown, and it looks like they're on their way home anyway. They'll go for it on fourth down. Pressure coming. And they get to him and sack the quarterback, and they'll stop the drive on down. 
had nowhere to go with the football. You could tell surveying the field, somebody's got to get open to go make a play. Man, throw it up. Run it. Do something. You can't take a sack on fourth down. you got to give somebody an opportunity to make a play for you. The Bearcat offense ready to go back to work. Always good to get points on a drive, David, but chip shot field goals can leave you a little empty. And I think it's great to get points, but the great teams get touchdowns in the red area. you got to get out there this time and execute a little better on this drive. You're absolutely right, David. Generally, the best red zone offenses are the ones that run the ball the best. So let's see if they can be a little bit more physical on this drive. They stop him after a six-yard run out to the 24. Looking for a physical attack from the gun. And they did not let him reach the line to gain. It'll bring up a decision here. And the Bearcats will punt this one away. He'll call for the fair catch here. Decent field position to start this drive from their own 33. To the air, it's Fenley. Takes the easy completion. They make the stop right there. Good pickup, but still short of the first down. Trying to get a rhythm in the passing game. Now on second down. He's looking to throw. Working the middle of the field, and it's complete. And he's knocked down immediately, but not before he moves the chains. Here comes the offense on first and 10 from the 47. He's going to pass. Grabbed behind the line, it's Johnson. Well, and here's the problem offensively because you're trailing by so much so late in the game. The defense now is going to be playing big zone coverages, and they're going to allow you to throw the ball underneath in the middle of the field, rally to make a tackle and bleed the clock. It's going to be hard now for this offense to claw their way back in this one. And the Hilltoppers are on the move. Comes out throwing on first down. All kinds of time before he fires right. And chunk plays are the name of the game, and they get one here before the defense finally makes the stop. That big play really has them in business. It's first and 10 from the 11. Takes the handoff. It's Young. They'll pick up four, second and six coming. Going to work in the red zone. They can't pick up the first down without getting it into the end zone. Second down. From the gun, running back gets to give. He's got it down to the one-yard line right on the doorstep of Pater. Tight quarters deep in the red zone, but they can pick up a first down without scoring. Third down. And he takes it in for the score. Touchdown, Western Kentucky. I love running backs that have a nose for the goal line. Understand how to get there, finish strong into the end zone. Know I get six, and then go celebrate with your boys. He'll try to tack on one more. Smashes it through for the PAT. A 67-yard touchdown drive there. And they capped it off with a one-yard front. On the move from inside is five. He was looking for more running room, but none to be found as he stopped at the 23. The Bearcat offense ready to go back to work. After giving up that last touchdown, they've still got the lead, but now feeling a little bit of pressure to answer with one of their own, David. And it gets a little bit tight. Listen, we're getting later in the ball game. This offense punted last time. they got to find a few plays, Palmer, that they really love here. Steal some momentum back in this ball game. They do, David, and after watching their defense just get gashed down the field that last drive, the dream drive for this offense would be to matriculate the ball down the field, eat up some clock, and finish it off with a touchdown. On the ground, trying to pull the plug on this clock. And that's a very productive first down play in bringing up second and three. We've reached the two-minute warning, and this offense is that much closer to salting away a victory. Now on the option. Tackled, but he has a first down. 
Defense uses a timeout quickly, trying to get that ball back and preserve time for their offense. And the Bearcats have it with a first and ten. Handoff to the lone back. He got a bunch and looked close to getting a lot more, but he's got the first down. Quick timeout called by the defense, stopping the clock to save as much time as possible for their offense. He'll keep it himself. They pick up half of it. It'll be second and five. Timeout called there by the defense, desperate to get the ball back and save as much time as possible. No reason to do anything here except keep it on the ground on second and five. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Ball spotted at the 27. They're facing a third and long to try to keep their hopes of a touchdown alive. They'll try the run. And they did not let him get to that first down line. It'll bring up a call here. And here comes the field goal unit for the second time tonight. And this will be a 41-yarder coming up from the right side. The split the upright hits good. And now the lead is extended a little far. First order of business here. Don't give up a big return. Then the defense just has to keep them out of the end zone. He'll start the return inside his five. Buys just enough space to cross the 25. Let's mark it at the 27-yard line. First play of this drive comes from the 27. Back to pass. It's Finley. Nice defensive play to get a hand in there and knock it away. Couldn't make the play on first down. They'll try it again. Second and 10 from the 27. He's got an open man. Flying out to the left. The 20. 10. Touchdown, Hilltoppers. And once he got loose, it was all over. Step one by this offense complete. Really nice job. They had to get the touchdown. Now we got to go for the two-point conversion. Cut this thing to eight. So we got a chance to tie the game late with some late-game heroics. So maybe just to make the final score look a little better, they'll go for two here. Lipstick on a pig, anybody? They'll go to the air. Feeling some heat. Hard hitting tackle. Yeah, and the defense comes up with the stop, and you just wonder the analytics world and all that stuff that whatever the card says to do, you're supposed to do. I wonder if they were listening to that card. Looking for an alley from inside his own 10. And the returner will be dragged down. A strong, methodical, workmanlike effort from this team. No frills, just get the job done and get the win. I love when you describe my teams like that. Just consistent, you know, methodical, strong. I don't have to do things special every single week. All I'm supposed to do is get the W, and that's what they did. And this is why practice is so important, guys. You can tell that this team was locked in way back earlier in the week. They watched the film. They got good looks in practice. They knew what to anticipate. They knew what looks they were going to see. And when those looks presented themselves, boy, oh, boy, did they ever take advantage. That's going to do it for us. For Jesse Palmer, David Pollock, our entire broadcast team, I'm Reese Davis. This has been another presentation of EA Sports College Football.